How are you? Who are you? And where are you from? I am Drake Milligan. I am 19, and I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Of course, everybody back home, you know, calls me Hollywood or, or Elvis. You know, it's never, it's never my name. Hollywood. I love that. I love my home in Norfolk. When I was about 10, I saw an Elvis impersonator. Went home and found everything I could about Elvis. Books, videos, and movies. I started taking guitar lessons and voice lessons and, you know, trying to sing like him, emulate everything he did. As my voice got better and better, I started performing as Elvis. It grew from, you know, wigs and jumpsuits to professional stuff. I feel like C-3PO in this thing. I won quite a few competitions. I know Elvis's music like the back of my hand. I love it. But what I feel like is my calling is country music. I'm a country boy at heart, I guess. I grew up in a little town called Mansfield. Don't you dare go running down. The family business has been scrap metal recycling. I've never really taken much interest in it. I've always wanted to go in music. See what you're missing? You could have all this instead of a guitar. <laughs> well, we knew from the word go that it was not going to be for Drake. He's always had that musical ear, playing on guitar, singing, and that's all right. I want him to be happy in what he loves to do. Where I come from. I haven't stepped in front of too many people as myself. You know, it's always been this kind of disguise, if you will, as Elvis. You know, stepping in front of these celebrity judges, it's kind of a, a really uh, vulnerable side of me. Whoa, how you sparkle, know how you shine. The flush on your cheeks is more than the wine. And he must do something that I didn't do. Whatever he's doing, it looks good on you. It's easy to see You look so good in love And I wish you still wanted me hey. I like that. Hey. I love when they change hey. 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 I just say, hey. you won't. I just love I was praying you didn't sound like Elvis. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, know, I, know. I know. I mean, I can, man, I can, when yeah. you you yeah. didn't, you just crushed yeah. it because yeah. you didn't do that. Thank you. If I see you in Nashville and I hear you do that, I would be fired up there, and I'm fired up now. Fired up. Fired up. You're um, I like that. You're cowboy <laughs> cool, man. You are comfortable, my friend. Yeah. I just sat back and could hear another song and then another song. <laughs> you're comfortable in your skin, you're comfortable in your voice, your attitude, the whole thing is a yeah. package. I do have a question though. What is that like low thing? Because when you start out some of the notes, it's kind of like a real, Scooping. Scooping, a real yeah. low so, thing. And if we could trim that out of there, you know, I don't and know. I, I know what bit, you're saying. It's I mean, a you... bit froggy, but I think he's a star in the making. Absolutely. I think you should tell your buddies that nicknamed you Hollywood that you're, you're going to Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I come up and get it. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, come and set that up. Thank you guys so Good much. Deal. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Thank you. So nice to be with you. All right, thank we'll you. see you out there. <laughs> thank you. All right, enjoy Hollywood, man. <laughs> plenty of recognition as Elvis, but to go up and sing my own voice and for people of that caliber to love it, it's amazing. Hey, y'all. Why is he so cute? Hello. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Well, very nice to meet you. And who are you? I'm Drake Milligan from Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. How old are you, Drake? I'm 23. I'm guessing you're going to be singing today. Yes, sir. I will be singing. How do I know? You're amazing. I don't know how you do it, Simon. Don't ask. <laughs> now, I'm presuming that you gig around, I mean, the state or the country? Well, I'm based out of Nashville now. I've been recording my own songs here lately and, and been out with my band. We've been on the road and, and making stories and telling lies. And Yep. You think this is the platform to showcase your talent best? Absolutely. I mean, back in the day, uh, Elvis had the Ed Sullivan show, right? And, and yep. the Beatles did too. And I, yep. and I see this uh, uh, kind of on the same scale of that, uh, almost bigger, way bigger. Wow. And Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stayed too long at the honky tonk. 
much just to tie one off A little less right and a lot more wrong Sounds like something I do Calling in sick when the fish are biting Taking those curves with the gravel flying Keeping one eye on the next horizon Sounds like something I do I never had a reason, girl, to go around looking for a fire to walk through Ain't like me to want somebody rearranging all my want-tos I ain't kind of settled down and let myself get wrapped around somebody's finger But if I had you, baby, sounds like something I do And later maybe getting one kiss and going half crazy Sounds like something I do I never had a reason, girl, to go around looking for a fire to walk through Ain't like me to want somebody rearranging all my want-tos I ain't the kind of settle down and let myself get wrapped around somebody's finger But if I had you Sounds like something, baby Oh, it sounds like something, baby Sounds like something I do Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That's an original, right? I guess so it is. I think that song's a hit. Thank you. And I think that you're a hit. You're like the new Elvis of country. I think you're going to break out from this particular song, this particular moment, on this particular night. Thank you very much. Thank you. That you guys are a, a band. We don't have a lot of bands yet, you know, this season, so I think you are perfect for America's Got Talent. The perfect combination. The song was amazing. You are amazing. And I think America's gonna go crazy. The girls are going crazy. <laughs> Sometimes when we get bands on the show, for whatever reason, it just really honestly does sound like a mess from the minute it starts. With you, it was the opposite. I think this performance should make a difference to what you're doing, because people are going to like you. The song uh, was really, really good as well. It was really authentic. That's what I liked about it, because um, I know so much about country music. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, for me, a good song is a good song, and everything worked everything. for you today. And you're very likable. We haven't got to know the rest of you yet, but I'm sure you are. They are. They are. OK. Right, we're going to vote. Howie? Yes. Four yeses, congratulations. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Hey Heidi, your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No, but it does. It takes the light outside from the outside, sense. and it gets darker around, and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. into some parts yes. sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Make sense. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing, and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT, and my dad says, "Is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks, <laughs> or is it Blue Ivy?" Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mama got to host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. <laughs> yes, for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> Off. <laughs>